What's going on guys, my name is Moldy Fate and today we're going to talk about what if Izuku had thunder breathing. If we can get 5 likes, I will release part 2 within the week. Now, I want to preference something, you know, I want to set some ground rules real quick. So I know in Demon Slayer, the lightning effects um, aren't real, even though that's an argument within the Demon Slayer community. And I do believe that the effects aren't real, that they're not actually there. But in this series, um, they are there. And don't worry, Izuku isn't going to be a swordsman. Now, we can get on to the video. Izuku in kindergarten was a very bright young boy. And one day, he saw Bakugo give me his quirk. It was fun. I mean, Bakugo got his quirk and it was explosions, a very flashy quirk and everybody praised him for it and everybody was just wondering when Izuku would get his. While Izuku and Bakugo were playing, Bakugo was roughhousing with Izuku and Izuku tried to, I don't know, push Bakugo back. Bakugo got mad and started throwing little explosions at Izuku and they started roughhousing. Izuku eventually threw a punch and this is when Izuku realized his quirk. When he threw a punch, his fist turned into lightning and shocked Bakugo directly in the face. Bakugo was out cold for a few seconds, but he was actually okay. The teachers were called, nothing bad really happened. Izuku still felt bad and decided to try not to use his quirk. He was diagnosed. As the doctor would say, Hmm, this is odd. Inko would be confused as the doctor would ask Inko a few questions. Is electricity a common thing in your family? Inko would state, well, no. I mean, I can levitate things and his father breathes fire. As the doctor would get up, so it's not a mix. As he would then explain, Izuku has a very neat quirk. It's an elemental quirk, but it's also a mutation quirk. This quirk allows Izuku to use the oxygen that he breathes to turn into lightning, not emit it. Inko and Izuku would be confused, as the doctor would state that most elemental quirks are emitter types, but this is a mutant type, as he uses the oxygen in his blood, like he said, to turn directly into electricity. As the doctor would state that in order to control this quirk, he recommends that Izuku takes, uh, tries to focus on one specific body part, or else he could just turn into a ball of electricity for a few days. As he was joking, stating that if he uses too much of his breaths, he will run out of breath and pass out, and even worse, die. Izuku came out the hospital scared. He can turn into electricity, but he took this time to try and learn. He tried learning how to control the electricity, and eventually, a few years later, he did get it. And because of Izuku's quirk, Bakugo and Izuku don't stray away from each other. As a matter of fact, they even become closer. Izuku acting uh, as a comedian for Bakugo when his bullying gets a bit too far. Eventually, Izuku gets full control over his quirk and even invents his first form. He decided that he wanted six special moves for his quirk and the first one was already complete. He called this Thunderclap and Flash. Bakugo and Izuku both enrolled into UA together, and thus their training started. For 10 months, Bakugo and Izuku agreed to stay away from each other while they're training so they don't influence each other's moveset. Izuku goes to a beach, and first he spends 5 months cleaning it up, and the next 5 months was trying to train his first form, Thunderclap and Flash and try and develop the second one. After the five months, Izuku had two special moves and even a sub move called Thunderclap and Flash sixth fold. When the five when the ten months were up, Izuku and Bakugo both walked into the UA gates and thus went to the presentation. It would go as normal, or even Ida calling out Izuku's behavior. Although, because Izuku isn't extremely nervous in this version, he doesn't actually get to talk to Uraraka, so yeah, that doesn't start. 
Izuku and Rakugo await for the kids to open as present Mike yells that in a battle there is no one, two, three, go, you just go. As everybody ran ahead of Izuku, Rakugo smiled as he said, let's show him what's what. So what's this thunderclap and flash I've been hearing so great about, so much about? Izuku looked at Bakugo and smiled as he did a odd stance with a lunging stance, but instead one leg fully extended, the back leg fully extended. As he would then breathe in a huge amount of air as he yelled, thunder breathing first form, thunder clap and flash. As the upper torso of his body turned into electricity, it coursed down into his legs and thus in a burst of energy, he dashed forward. As as he dashed forward, it was to get in front of all the students as he would then yell sixfold as he would hit six robots at once, gaining around, let's say, 25 points. Izuku would go on to uh, around the uh, exam as Baku would wonder why Izuku isn't just spamming Thunder Club and Flash as Izuku would explain that there is a cooldown because his body is made of electricity, it does take a lot of energy and he can't just spam all of his moves, but he will get to see some. Eventually, Izuku runs into a robot and he does yell, thunder breathing, second form, rice spirit. What he does is he basically does five uh, hooks, like left and right hooks, and makes gi five giant slashes destroying the robot completely. He'd continue on until the zero pointer is called out. He notices that there is a girl trapped underneath rubble and he, and he does activate thunder breathing for his form, thunder clap and flash. But instead of just keeping his legs to electricity, he does make one of his hands into electricity like a hand blade. As he says thunder clap and flash, he bursts into the air, decapitating the zero pointer robot but it does not stop the head from hitting the girl. So he does say the six fold as he uses one of the six folds to catch up to the head and five of them to slice him up into pieces to try and ease out the damage. So hopefully it doesn't hit the girl, but he is out of breath as he is falling to the ground. He notices one of the heads are going straight for the brown haired girl. So he breathes in air as much air as he can, as he says, thunder breathing first form, thunder clap and flash. As he does extend his hand into a blade and he does catch up to the head. He chops the head in half and lets the head just mere moments from hitting the girl splits completely. Um, Sorry, completely avoiding the girl. The girl slaps Izuku so he can float, but Izuku is passed out due to lack of oxygen. He wakes up in a bed with a letter. This letter accepts Izuku into UA as one of the teachers. It doesn't really matter because it's not All Might this time. One of the teachers states that Izuku got, uh, let's say, 35 hero points and 60 or 35 attack points and 60 hero points for saving the girl unless izuku is now enrolled into ua izuku goes into the giant ua doors only to see bakio and ida arguing as ido would introduce himself to the new student as bakio would tell izuku don't listen to this potential pretentious prick as Izuku would smile, as Ida would ask if he knew ba if Izuku knew Bako, Izuku would state that actually is my best friend, really. As as Ida would kind of pull away his hand as if he was touching dirt and say, "What rapscallions!" As he would walk away, the brown hood girl would walk up behind Izuku and tap his shoulder. As he would then say, she would ask, "Was it called thunder breathing?" As Izuku would look back and state, "Oh, uh, hey." As Araka would introduce herself, Izuku would introduce himself, and Bakugo would kind of tease Izuku for blushing, but um, it is interrupted by Aizawa stating that if you're here to make friends, you can leave now, and he tells everybody to get into their gym outfits and meets them outside. Araka would question once they're outside, that is an orientation like right now, and Aizawa would state that he actually wants to do a fitness test, and whoever scores last has to be expelled. 
or rock of wood complaints do not fair and i desire would state that in life everything isn't fair and that's the whole point of heroes izuku actually does not have a problem with this since his entire body is actually made of electricity he does pass most of the tests with flying colors although he didn't get first place in the exam that was still bakugo he did score second which means that he is high potential izuku does like i said really well at most of the test ones were even more calisthenic based ones which is kind of most of them then the ball throwing the ball is made out of rubber so he can't just zap it bakugo does his and he gets 750 meters and you know everybody else does theirs and izuku does his the teacher looks at izuku as izuku would breathe in air as he doesn't really say thunder breathing as he kind of doesn't need to he would just throw the ball but make his entire arm into electricity and launch the ball he gets 755 meters only a little bit more than bakugo and just like that izuku got second place overall under bakugo and momo is third sadly Mineta is last but Aizawa does not expel Mineta as he states that it was just a test so you guys can do their best. Eventually classes go as normal, but eventually All Might does burst into UA as he was in state that he actually was going to do a hero training course, a hero training class where basically they pick teams and they fight each other and now they can wear their hero costumes. Izuku's hero costume is exactly the same, but it is modified. Izuku actually cuts off the sleeves so it could be sleeveless, but pretty uh, cuts off the sleeves so it can be sleeveless. But he also cuts off the uh, I don't know anything below the ankles of the pants. I don't know what that section is called. I'm sorry, I'm, my mind's going blank on that. So he can do first form, and he doesn't really want to destroy his entire um, you know, his hair costume his mom made. And he does come out in sandals. <laughs> he walks out and Uraka does compliment him on his uh, outfit. But All Might notices how it looks kind of similar to his. Izuku is also wearing the mask. And, you know, stuff like that. They all draw their balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they draw their numbers. And uh, basically, Izuku and Uraka are on the same team. And Baku and Ida are on the same team, and the same for everybody else, the same teams. Or Rocco would ask if Izuku and Bakugo have a like know each other as they seem to be very close. As Izuku would state that Bakugo is his best friend. As Uraka would ask if Izuku's gonna go easy on Bakugo. As Izuku would state that Bakugo would kill me if I ever did that. Izuku and Uraka would slowly get into the fortress as their goal was to try and retrieve the bomb like stop the bomb entirely and or capture all the villains but he hears Bakugo burst through the corridors as he yells Izuku it's time to meet your maker as <laughs> Bakugo appears directly in front of them as he was going for a right hook but Izuku judo slams the fuck out of him slamming Bakugo and making him feel winded as Izuku would state that I'm your best friend, of course I know all your moves. As he would tell Uraraka to go try and fight Ida, as Uraraka would run away. Izuku would put up a fighting, an MMA fighting stance and tells Bakugo to get up. As he would then ask for Bakugo to repeat himself saying who's going to meet who's maker. As Bakugo would get up and their fight would begin. At first it was hand to hand combat, not really using their quirks. But Izuku would actually start off using his quirk as he says, Thunder breathing second form rice spirit as he uppercuts Bakugo and throws five hook attacks, creating five lightning art slashes. Bakugo would use his quirk to evade these, but that's exactly what Izuku wanted as he got into a lunging stance as he would then say, Thunder breathing first form thunderclap and flash destroying the sandals he blitzes towards bakugo delivering a gut shot with his fist bakugo feels winded and is launched to the back of the corridor slamming against the wall as bakugo is slammed against the wall he izuku would do a recovery breath as he would say thunder breathing second form rice spirit 
again creating five arch lightning slashes towards Bakugo, although Izuku is out of breath. He does catch his breath eventually, but Bakugo does still dodge the five slashes, as Bakugo would ask if that is, that is all he's got, as Bakugo would launch himself towards Izuku. Izuku would turn on breathing mode. Basically, this collects more oxygen for Izuku so he can do more of his thunder breathing techniques. As Baku would ask, is that part of the hero costume? As Izuku would say, yeah, so I have more power to beat your ass. Bakugo would state, that's interesting. I've made some modifications of my own. As he would start bar barraging Izuku with explosions, but Izuku would quickly turn into electricity and then turn back to his human form. As Izuku would tell Bakugo, I guess you forgot, but remember, I'm made of lightning. As Bakugo would state, oh, I don't care about that, I'm just stalling for time. As Izuku would hear a ding from Bakugo's gauntlets, as Bakugo would state, I guess it's tired for it to come out. Izuku would step back, w what do you mean? As Bakugo would state, you're gonna love this one. As Izuku would realize the design of Bakugo's gauntlets, they're grenades. As Bakugo would pull the pin, as his hand would turn bright red, and a giant explosion is launched through Bakugo's gauntlets. Izuku would then state, really? That's what you got for me? As Izuku would state, thunder breathing, first form, thundercloud and flash, but he does modify it a bit. He spins in a spiraling manner, and turning his upper body into electricity, although this does cost them a lot of oxygen. He basically blitzes straight into the explosion and comes out perfectly fine, and as he is spinning, he is throwing a left hook. But Bakugo sees this and then grabs Izuku's hand, slaying him against the wall, using his momentum against him. Bakugo would then use his gauntlet to gut check Izuku, basically, and Izuku is winded. Izuku falls to his knees as Bakugo does a left hook and basically much slamming Izuku's head face into the ground. Bakugo would then state, come on, that can't be it, can it? As he would, Izuku would then basically have to think of a way to get out of this as he then realizes his third form. As he would then, his entire body would like have an electric aura, it would zap Bakugo's hands as Bakugo would step back. As Izuku would then state, thunder breathing, third form, thunder swarm. As he would basically just like extend every bar part of his body and yell, basically creating a giant electric wave of lightning. Bakugo would jump over the wave, but the waves kept on coming after Bakugo. Bakugo would stay, so this is a way for him to keep me off him. As he would hear another ding, Bakugo would then state, no matter, I just have to be smart about this one. Bakugo ran towards Izuku and point blank would pull the pin and Izuku would get blasted. <laughs> Pause. Izuku would be blasted backwards to the other side of the court door, just like Bakugo was early in the fight. Bakugo realizes, Izuku realizes that he can't blunt force Bakugo, and Bakugo realizes that he can't blunt force Izuku, and they both need to think about this. Meanwhile, Uraraka is sneaking up on Ida, but Ida does catch Uraraka, and Uraraka would explain that she basically was caught, and Izuku has to find a way to get to her as fast as possible. As Izuku would ask what floor she's on, she says 6th floor, as Izuku would then st think of a plan. Izuku would get into his lunge stance as he would then tell Bakugo that this fight is going to be over in one flash. As Bakugo would get into a boxing stance and state, yeah, same here, as he lifts his hands to, uh, and puts his hand on a pin. Izuku would state, thunder breathing, first form, thunder clap and flash, as he would blitz towards Bakugo. Bakugo would pull the pin, but Izuku was too fast, and he'd actually trip Bakugo and basically like right hook his like his legs. Bakugo would fall over, and the blast would just like go in a random direction. 
Izuku would cover his face as he blitzes out of a window and all of the like he would burst through the glass as he would then state sixth fold as he would hit the ground going sh he wouldn't hit the ground he would do a like like a drop kick motion and basically he would create a bunch of air pressure launching him into the air and then he'd do that to get into the sixth floor as he does that he'd use the fourth fold of sixth fold to try and gauge the room he'd do a fifth fold for momentum and a sixth fold finishing his technique to punch Ida in the stomach as this is happening Oraka touches the bomb and the hero team wins Bakyo is mad because Izuku outsmarted him and Ida is mad because he just got snuck but Momo still declares Ida the MVP because Izuku was being too reckless. Bakugo was making his whole, you know, thing flashy and all. Uruwaka was caught, and Ida is just best by default. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, all my uh, all the other fights go as normal, and Hayzawa tells the students that next week they will have to go into the UA um, DUSJ. But you know what? No, I'm not ending the part here. I know that's what some of you expected because I normally do, but hell no. I'm doing the USJ. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people can notice my patterns. <laughs> anyway, week goes by and the USJ is now underway. As everybody is in the bus way there, everybody talks about each other's quirks. People notice that Todoroki is silent and his quirk seems to be ice. But some people heard rumors that it could be flame as well. Everybody comments on Izuku's quirk, especially Kaminari, stating that they basically have the same quirk, as he states that his quirk is an emitter type, and asks if Izuku's is the same. Izuku states that no, it's actually a mutant type, and everybody would be confused, as Izuku would state that his entire body is actually made up of electricity. And basically, he uses the oxygen in his blood to turn his body into electricity. Kamenari states that that's actually kind of cooler than his. All he does is create lightning, but you are lightning. And he even has cool move names like Thunderclap and Flash, like Rice Spirit, and what was the third one? Izuku would state Thunderswarm. As Kamenari would state, I'm going to have to steal one of those. Izuku would then explain that it actually is extremely hard to use all of these as not only does he have to keep paying for more slippers but he could pass out or even die if he overuses them. Everybody comments that Bakugo can seem to be able to just generate explosions but Bakugo in a calm manner would explain that it's actually him exploding his sweat. Well, yeah, basically like that. They reach the USJ and, you know, everything goes down as normal. They get in, villains show up, and it's go time. Izuku, um, Izuku, Froppy, because I don't want to call her Sue, and Mineta are all transported into the uh, boat zone, and Mineta is freaking out, but Izuku has a devilish grin as Froppy would think Izuku had a plan, as Izuku would then state, yeah, I do. As he points to the water, do you know what that is, Froppy? As Thrapi, th Sue, fuck, I'm not gonna say that name anymore. Sue, Sue has a devilish smile as well. As Mineta would say, I, I don't get it. As Izuku would basically spell it out, what does what happens when electricity and water, what happens basically when electricity and water meet each other? What does water do? Mineta states, well, water conducts electricity, and he has a devil screen. As other villains are surrounding them, Izuku would then state. Well, if the villains knew his quirk, he, they'd know not to put me here and put me somewhere where I couldn't use the surroundings to my advantage. Which means the villains actually don't know any of our quirks. Which is good. Let's keep it that way. As Izuku would jump into the water and states, Therapy, listen, I'm gonna need you to jump as high into the air. air. I'm gonna, you're gonna be able to catch me, but make sure Mineta gets out here safe. Get out of here, gets out of here safely. Trying to land into the water, but it probably won't really do any good. So Happy would jump directly in the air, and Izuku would jump into the water as he would then state, Thunder breathing, third form, Thunder swarm. 
as all of the ones were shocked by electricity inside water, Izuku would use the remaining oxygen as his mask can also can, can his mask can transfer water, take out the water part, like take out the hydrogen part and leave the oxygen part. Basically, he can breathe underwater with his mask, okay? He's a thunder breathing first form, thunder clap and flash to burst himself out of the water and throb it. Sue catches Izuku and basically they escape the water zone. But luckily, the water isn't like tainted by the electricity, so they can land into the water safely, in which they do. Izuku, Sue, and Mineta both watch the fight pursued, and yeah, the Nomu is big as fuck. <laughs> but you know, everything's going down normally, and Izuku notices that Aizawa is about to die, so Izuku states thunderclap and flash as he would try and blitz Shigaraki, but the Nomu appears in front of him and actually gets shocked, but he's incredibly fine. The Nomu tries to punch Izuku, but All Might arrives, arrives, All Might arrives, and All Might versus Nomu pursues, which All Might wins, but Izuku does see something weird. All Might transforms into a frail old man, and All Might is shocked to see that Izuku sees it, but Izuku, like, puts his mouth and does, like, a zip motion as he, like, he's indicating to All Might he won't tell anyone. Izuku runs towards with the other students, and thus the USJ incident is recorded and is known within the public. Aizawa states that despite the USJ incident, the entire sports festival is still underway and that they have two weeks to prepare for the sports festival as it's almost like an advertisement for other heroes as they're gonna need it later and he says trust me season one <laughs> i didn't expect this to be season one jesus christ but please like and subscribe if you want season two um but wow i can i am really on my game um like and subscribe, 5 likes, season 2 comes out, and I'll see y'all later. And I just want to say, before I leave, I'm sorry, <laughs> Zenitsu is, like, my third favorite Demon Slayer character. Uh, my favorite one is actually Kokushibo. So, if you do want Izuku, if Izuku had moon breathing, I'd gladly fucking do that, too. Uh, I was originally thinking about Izuku doing moon breathing, but it'd be kind of weird, because, like... What I had was like Izuku's body turns into like crescent shaped blades and it causes it moon. But I thought thunder breathing would be kind of cool too because thunder breathing is just fucking amazing. But I'll see y'all later and peace.